A family on Long Island today says that they plan to sue the Suffolk County Police Department. They claim they were assaulted, restrained, and terrorized by officers last week as the department searched the Quorum neighborhood for the suspect who shot an officer. Eyewitness News reporter Stacy Sager live in Quorum with the details from the family. Stacy. Well, Lauren, the Suffolk County Police Department says they simply won't comment on any pending litigation. But keep in mind, this innocent family's allegations are horrifying. Now, the family lives here in Corum on Teller Avenue, quite a few blocks away from where Suffolk County Police Officer Michael LaFauci was shot just last week. Now, we know it was a chaotic time, but after a 20-minute standoff, Suffolk County Police had the suspect in that case in custody. 20-year-old Janelle Funderburk. Still, that afternoon, immense confusion. And Warren White, he's a former cop himself from the island of Jamaica who lives in Corum. He says he was ordered down on the ground on his front lawn, kicked in his neck. His grandmother held in a police car so long she urinated on herself. So now, accusations of racial profiling and a family who tells us they are traumatized. I went down, I put my hands behind my head. Cops came over, they were putting a handcuff on me when the plainclothes officer ran up, screamed at me, cursed the F word, kicked me in the neck while I was still on the ground. I stopped talking at that moment because being treated like that, you're already a criminal, not knowing why you are. They asked me, who are those people you hang out with? I'm like, what are you talking about? I don't hang out with anybody. I stay home. I trade the stock market. I do my own little thing. So when I kept, I was like, what are you talking about? I don't know. He was like, you know, who are those people you hang out with? I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. To sit back and watch that happen, it was very heart-wrenching for me. Indeed, and the White family, both Warren Sr. and his wife, they are both nurses. They say they don't have so much as a parking ticket. They've never broken any laws. Their family does not know the suspect, has no relation to the suspect. They also tell us that officers here at the 6th Precinct, also at the 7th Precinct, have apologized for what happened, saying, quote, they never should have been at their house. But there's been no public apology, no public explanation, really, of why this happened. Once once again, they plan to file a lawsuit, and the Suffolk County Police Department simply won't comment on any pending litigation.